three of your running backs? Uh, I mean, I don't really know how to answer that, but they, I mean, they're all really great running backs. You know, everybody we have, you know, just proud of them for how hard they run. Knowing that you have three, what's that like, though, that you can switch them out and always have someone that's reliable back there? I mean, you know, it's great having you know, more weapons you have to go back to the arm. And, uh, you know, whenever one gets tired, put the other one in, and nothing drops off. What was this week of practice like after the game? I mean, we you know we pushed this practice. I mean, this week of practice really hard. And, uh, you know, really, really gotten our uh, combinations and you know, really picked up our, our, our practice this week. Hey, Bradley, I'm sorry it's, all, it's already been asked, but beating Auburn three times in a row and obviously five out of the six, you were part of that. What does that mean? Uh, you know, it's 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 good. You know, it's a good feeling. Uh, you just you know, we always try to be one to know at the end of the day. You have lost Auburn, right? Uh, my freshman year. Yeah. Jalen's overcome adversity so many times. Does it give you guys confidence when maybe he turns the ball over a couple times in the first half because of what he's done this year that he's going to be able to overcome it again? I mean, you know, Jalen's he's very mature. He's very strong. You know, he's really smart. And he's good at what he does. Uh, you know, we never had any doubt in him. So. Did he say anything maybe on the sideline or at halftime when, you know, knowing that the offense needed to kind of pick it up in that second half? I mean, you know, uh, Jalen's just – he's – Calm, cool, and collected. Like he doesn't get frustrated. He just, you know, just stay the path, stay the course. So he didn't have to say anything, though. No, I mean, we just we went to him. You know, we picked him up. He picks us up. You know, it's just we all go to each other. Probably some of the stretching of the field, as far as going, you know, side on side on top of guys. Was that a purpose to sort of wear them out a little bit in the game, first half? Uh, you know, I mean, it, they have to run sideline. Like you said, they have to run sideline to sideline. So you know, I think it helps. But you know, we just just got to do what we have to do. Could you could you see the fatigue in the second half from them? I mean, you know, we we're, we we're just pounding and pounding away, and uh, you know, finally we got a little. You know, they kind of got a little bit um, weary of it. So. How much is time of possession a statistic you look at as an offensive lineman as being a kind of a barometer of where you guys are playing and how you guys are playing? I mean, you know, it's great. We're keeping our, our defense off the field, and when they have to go in, they're fresh. And, uh, you know, that that's a big – big for us. Mm -hmm. Bradley, of all the defensive lines you played against this year, were they one of the best? Uh, yeah, I'd definitely say they'd up, they're up there. So. What does it say about this team when you can have the big wins on the road and be number one undefeated the whole year? And still not really have any of those trip ups and to stay focused the entire way through. I mean, you know, like we've always said, we're trying to be one of those in the week. It's not that if we're not looking back, we're not looking forward. We're just trying to be one of for that week and take care of that week. Is that difficult as the season goes on? I and mean, you win at LSU, you win at Tennessee, you beat Auburn. Is it difficult to stay focused week to week? Um, Generally, I would say yes, but with this team, no. Uh, this team, is their focus, we're you know, ready to play of the week, and, and we just come out and uh, bust in practice. And, you know, really proud of all my teammates. Who are the, the mentality. Who are the you ones are? who enforce that at, uh, on a day-to-day -day basis on this team? I mean, Jonathan, you know, I mean, I mean, obviously, you know, we have our leadership core and, uh, and Coach Saban, and you know, he's, he's talked to base preaching since I've got here. So, you know, we. Um, you know, we just we press on every week, and you know, can't look back, can't look forward. I asked Jonathan this: how, how or no, it was, uh, it was Ryan Anderson. How long until you actually start thinking that way? The got to go one and zero because everybody says it, but how long do you actually feel that way? I mean, you know, just as a team, once everybody grasps that concept, you you, know, you click right into it. I think we've had that mentality since we started the season. When's the first time in your life that you said something and then realized you sounded exactly like Nick Saban? <laughs> as soon as I started doing media. <laughs> <laughs> He's honest. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Bradley. Thanks, Bradley.